Hello and welcome everybody. Today we have vectors and we're going to do the Cartesian coordinate system. Remember Cartesian coordinate system? X hat, Y hat, Z hat. We have mutually perpendicular. We have like an X hat, Y hat, and then Z hat coming out of the board. So we're going to use that to see like how we're going to use all of those in Cartesian coordinate systems to high uh, perpendicular and we know that you are always there. So I have an image here in the Python that I created with the two arrows. You have vector A, vector B, vector C. And as I can see in my code, I have two, two for vector A and B, which you actually, if you can see, the height of that, it seems to be two. So then, same, because they have same heights, we can see from our, we are actually not same heights, but because they have like same X components, they go, uh, the direction of two X is in the common, you can see how A and vector B having the same common points and some components on the picture. And then we also have vector C and vector B, uh, vector B and vector C, which have four as their, com uh, their, I think, Y component in common, which you can see they have... Okay, this is a little bit difficult to explain, but I know for sure that I put four, which I think this common point of four, as you can see, shows that how they have four as their uh, common point. And I can see... C is literally have nothing to be complete because we have be given a C a coordinate system that does not really define with A, and A cannot have really that uh, common points at, in, inside of it. So to make us a very vectors that get going to share their components on it, and then we have all of those here to show that uh, we specify by getting yellow, green, and red, and this is pretty much how. Uh, I can go with the, the code and use my knowledge of seeing that, okay, this is how we can get the graphics, this is how we get the components on, and yeah, this is much about it. We did the Cartesian coordinate systems. We also found out the components that we have. Okay, so the components that we had, remember, we had the X hat, Y hat, Z hat. So what are the numbers that we actually put for our codes? Let me see if I have to cover somebody else. No, I did the Cartesian coordinate systems. Okay, okay. Uh, as I move on with it, I can see 230. So 230 with the 2 and X hat and the 3 and the Y hat, you can see how that would um, give us a vector. Actually, 3 X hat and then 2 Y hats give us a pretty much <coughs> vector to uh, compose when you have actually 2 as an X hat as, uh, as, as a Y hat as well to give us uh, like the same coordinate system and from this as you can see it get it gives us the building blocks of the vector so from the components that we actually put there the x hat y has you had create us a vector the vector that we need to show on our example so hopefully you guys learned something new if, if i'm sound confusing i'm sorry but you can always ask me questions and then i'll go over it and see if my video had any wrongs so hopefully you let me know in the comments if you have any questions <music>